to go. Yeah. All right. So uh, the first time I brought Aiden in to meet Larry, um, he his hands were completely swollen, and that was my main <laughs> point of concern. Um, but we decided, uh, I guess, while he was there, that we would just kind of let his body do the talking. And so I think what we ended up doing was a balance. And I was surprised because what we ended up focusing on was not the hand so much as it was like his, uh, you know, communication between like his brain and his the muscles in his mouth. Um, but what was amazing to me, even though we, we used a surrogate, we had another kinesiologist there who assisted because Aiden um, was it a, but yeah, we used a surrogate. And I was a little unsure what would happen. But to me, the proof was in the pudding. Um, the next two, three days, he was a completely different kid. He was happy. He uh, just a completely different kid than how the state that he had been in when I brought him in. So that's why I'm here. Okay. And what, his speech therapist and his. Uh... Oh yeah. Um, also, you know, it was noted by. Um, both his speech therapist and his occupational therapist the next day that there had been a major change in his overall demeanor for sure mm. that he just seemed a lot happier um, a lot more open to working with them um, just seem more balanced for lack of a better word okay and you told me something about him singing that day oh yeah that was that was huge as well so um his speech therapist had brought in he wasn't singing into things. Um, it wasn't something that he had been like too interested in before, but he actually like attempted to sing, which was a first, you know. And he's he's ten, and that was the first time that he had tried to sing with her. So that was pretty huge. Okay, and he seems to have, I don't know how they classify him, but pretty severe autism. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's, you know, nonverbal and, you know, on the, the spectrum, he's definitely towards the more, you know, severe end for, for sure. Okay. And we're just going to see where we can go with doing some work with him on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, clearly, you know, he has a lot of regulatory issues with his body and nobody really knows where it's coming from, but I think, you know, this could really help him.